Okay, so we've built our environment and we are now in the Alcomp starter level. And this Alcomp starter level has a few extra things that uh, you'll see. You've got this uh, skeletal mesh prop, you've got this static mesh prop, you've got this second screen, which we can use later on, and we've got this table, and we've got this media plate. So let's look at changing this media plate out for your own footage so that you can just really quickly swap in your own media into the scene and see yourself in a virtual environment. So to find this media and the input for it, what we can do is go to this Composure Compositing. If you don't have this, you can go Window, uh, Virtual Production, Composure Compositing. Go to Media Plate 1. And what we have here, we have inputs. We have Composure Inputs. What's enabled by default is a Media Texture Compositing input. And you can look up tutorials on creating a media player and creating a media texture. You essentially load up a texture and let it play and loop and uh, that's Unreal's way of handling media in directly. But what I like to do, what I find more reliable, if we disable this one, and we can enable this spout input pass instead. So what I'm going to use for my example is a spout input pass because I'm just going to have a single pre-recorded looping bit of footage. You can also look up tutorials for in, for creating a Agit or Blackmagic media input, but for me, I'm just using this uh, spout source. So this is a spout receiver, so it's receiving a named spout uh, video feed and spout is awesome for pumping video from one program to another within one computer with almost zero latency so it's really got hardly any latency and it will just run well so I'm actually gonna open OBS and you can find and you can send spout from a variety of different programs uh, but I'm sending it from OBS in this instance and what you need to do if you want to send spout from OBS is get the spout plugin for OBS and you can just find it like this. You can also find other tutorials for make for making sure you install this properly. But it's it's essentially just a Spout plugin that we've developed that lets you send Spout from OBS. And if you have that, you should be able to uh, grab a media source. So I've got this for example. You can scale this down. You can even put it outside the screen. On if you just double click on here, set this to loop in OBS. Uh, and then you can also right click if you've got the Spout filter, uh, the Spout plugin enabled. You can go Spout filter. And I'm going to call this cat, um, change the spout name to cat as well, so that we know what it is when it comes into Unreal. And that's all you need to do on the OBS end. And then in here, you can now go to your media plate and select cat. And there you go, you have your own media source now playing as part of the comp. So in here, something that's a little bit confusing is you have this media plate in here. This is just used for shadows and reflections and things. The real nice crisp media is going to be if you click on this comp and press this, that's where you'll see that. This is also overlaid over the viewport on begin play. So now that you have your own media in here, you can press play and your own media will be playing. So this is set to work with a nice bit of green screen footage, but the green screen could need a little bit of tweaking. Uh, when it comes in. So we'll just look at a little bit of color tweaking and green screen tweaking uh, in the next video.